created Carpenter's Workshop Gallery with uh, my business partner Louis Le Gaillard uh, nine years ago in a actually former Carpenter's Workshop. At the beginning people just came with wooden board to be cut and uh, we decided to, uh, to promote uh, contemporary design working with very young uh, designers that were uh, at the time completely unknown and trying to establish them as artists uh, doing functional sculptures. We, we started, as I was saying, we started with the young uh, designers and so with years we had the chance to be able to ask major designers such as Wendell Castle to, uh, to work with us and he has been producing uh, for us those pieces which are mostly unique pieces. What we love in, uh, in what he's doing is uh, it's absolutely sculptures that he sculpts himself and at the same time this is like seats where you can actually very uh, comfortably uh, sit on. Uh, those pieces are very major and they are uh, supposed to get in that very very important uh, art collections and museums. Mendel is an American designer. He's a living legend. He's 85 years old and he's been doing these pieces uh, uh, this year. So, uh, and uh, he has created in 1962 the uh, movement of American art and craft. And these pieces are in wood, uh, especially. Uh, he's carving everything himself. And some other pieces, like uh, this one, are made out of bronze, so uh, they can uh, be uh, outdoor, uh, used outdoor. Um, this piece called Wandering Mountain is very important to me because Wendell gave us uh, the model in wax and, uh, and we did the bronze for him. It's, uh, it's great because we have this uh, um, quite important a production site in Paris where we have artisan, handcraft people working on wax, working on bronze, working on wood and upholstery, um, creating those pieces for the artist. And the fact that uh, a very well known uh, artist such as Wendell Castle uh, is um, confident enough to give us his models is a big achievement for, for us. In 10 years, uh, the design market has developed a lot. It's, uh, at the beginning, I remember it was just few collectors, actually art collectors, trying to find some interesting pieces to put in their home. And now it has become much more global. We have collectors from all over the planet, from uh, New York uh, and, and the States in general, uh, Latin America, uh, Russia, Gulf and, and China and uh, it's people coming from different uh, backgrounds not only art collectors and we have more and more design collectors and what is very interesting is to offer those people to uh, build a consistent design collection as they would do for the art collection.